Hello lovely people, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Hannah and I run a vintage boutique online. If you are curious, you can find my shop at the link in the description. Also real quick, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who has shown support to my channel, whether that be subscribing, leaving a comment or liking my videos, or even just clicking on it and watching it. I really appreciate you, so thanks. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about this. I'm going to be decluttering my vintage closet today, so let's get into it. I'm just gonna start grabbing from this end and we'll go one by one. Obviously this is a keep. This is one of the few things in my wardrobe that I don't really know if it's vintage. I feel like not really because it's Chico's, 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 I don't know, but I wear this all the time, so definitely a keep. Next, I have this metallic leather jacket, and I actually wear this a lot, so I'm definitely keeping it. I feel like it's flashy and bold, but also very like neutral and simple, if that makes sense. This is one of my like statement pieces, and I wear this if I'm like going to a dinner or something. I wore this on a date with my boyfriend. Look at how insane this is. The brand is Paramita. And this one is vintage, obviously a keep. This is kind of like my Ren Faire top and I let my sister borrow it last time we went, but she's a cutie, I'm definitely keeping her. This next piece is a vintage top from a French brand and I actually bought this from Threads Obsessed, Melissa Taddy. And I am very, very obsessed with this top because I think it's just absolutely fun and wild and artsy and that's like so me, but how should I style this, you guys? Because I haven't worn it out and I think that's because I don't know how to style her and I don't necessarily know where to wear it to. Probably something fun. I have this Save the Queen top, which is a little bit more dressy. The sleeves are mesh with knit fabric. Like, how cool is that? This is one of my favorite pieces, so I'm never parting with her. Literally bury me in this. <laughs> I wear this top a lot because it matches my everyday style really well, so I'm definitely keeping her. This is another one that I wear pretty often. I love this color on me. I love the silhouette and the fabric, and it's comfortable, so ooh, she's definitely a keeper. This is like a 90s rampage top, and I like this like slinky fabric and these like corset style tops. You'll probably see a lot of them in this video. So I love this top and I'm keeping her. I swear we will get into things that I'm getting rid of. Don't worry. I have this green velvet milkmaid top and it really is one of my favorites, but I think I should get rid of this one because I already have other plain green tops. I have tops in a similar style to this and I live in Florida. So this velvet fabric kind of makes me sweat and it's a little tight on me. So I think I'm gonna kiss her goodbye. I bought this top because I was in love with it on Depop, but it is really small on me. So I'm just not gonna wear it, but I hope I can find something similar to this in my size that's vintage. This top breaks my heart because the bust seam is just a little bit too high when I wear it, like it falls in the middle of my chest basically and i don't like that look so i have to part with her even though she is precious this top fits me perfectly and it's super comfortable she's a keeper this one is definitely not an everyday top because it is just like completely open in the middle but i feel like this is another like ren fair top or i actually wore this to the ringling museum in sarasota so I am very, very in love with this top, but I actually haven't worn it out. And I don't know why, because now that I'm looking at it, it matches these cargos. So I'll keep her. This graphic is one of my faves and I like the stretchy fabric. I wear a lot of stretchy fabric because I just like to be comfortable and look snatched. And I wore this in uh, New York City at the pop-up for Holy Thrift. So I have to keep her. This piece looks so good on me that I don't think I can get rid of it, but I really need to stop being so terrified of wearing white and just accept the fact that I can manage to not stain it. Am I being toxic for keeping this? Leave a comment and let me know. This is another corset top, and this is the top for when I just want to absolutely eat. Like I just want to look so insanely cute. This is my go-to. Ooh, this? 
I mainly just use this for like photos and stuff because this piece is quite special. It's a vintage Victoria's Secret top. So this one is very near and dear to my heart and it will remain part of my collection. I bought this dress on Depop the other day for when I go to the club. I haven't been in like ages, but me and my mans have been talking about going because I love to dance and I love music. So this is the perfect dress for that. This is like a sparkly black 90s maxi skirt and I wear this all the time because it matches everything and the sparkliness just kind of gives it a little extra spice, you know? But this one is my favorite maxi skirt. Look at how cool this like iridescent color shifting velvet is. Yeah, I wear the heck out of this skirt and it's comfy. Okay, so I love this red midi skirt and I wear it literally all the time. So I thought that I would love this green one, but I don't know, maybe it's the drawstring waist that I don't like. That's probably it. Cause this one has an elasticized waist, which I find to be much more comfortable for me personally. These are my favorite jeans in the world. I do have other jeans, but I don't really wear jeans a lot. I'm not much of a jeans girly, but these ones do it for me. Here's the tag. The brand is called Bubblegum. Go get yourself some bubblegum jeans if you like Y2K. And if you have questions about the brands of any of the other items that I showed, just drop a comment and I'll let you know. I also let my sister borrow this skirt for the run fair, but the skirt is great for every day. It's so soft and comfy and I love the color and the silhouette. I have a really funny story about this plaid maxi skirt. So I sold a skirt exactly like this a few years ago and I regretted selling it so much that I searched and searched for the same skirt and I bought it again. So I definitely can't get rid of it now because I know I'll just regret it again. It's made of like flannels. It literally feels like the skirt is made of cut up flannels. Isn't that so sick? So I have this two piece set here. And the thing is I just never wear it because one of my friends asked me if it was pajamas. And I feel like now I have a sense of shame putting it on. So I have to sell it even though it doesn't look like pajamas, does it? Maybe it does. I wore this mini skirt to the Fall Out Boy concert and I can't see many other occasions for it, but I do love it and I know I'll wear it out. One of my friends told me psychedelic prints are out. You know who you are. Um, <laughs> but I have both of these Vintage Express mini skirts. I literally bought it in both colors because I love it so much, so. I will be keeping them. Now, because of my love for these psychedelic prints, I also bought these pants. And while they fit me like a glove and look adorable on me, I don't have anything that goes with them. And this is not my color. So I'm never selling this dress. It is from the 90s. And I am in fact obsessed with it. And I've had it for years and I've worn it frequently. I feel like I should give this dress to my sister because she loved it and I don't wear it very often these days because I feel like it just doesn't make enough of a statement for me. We've got this maxi dress, which I was thrifting with my friend and she was like, you have to get that. It looks so cute on you. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's not really my style, but I wear it all the time and it does look so cute on me. So this is one of my faves. This is another dress that I just love to throw on all the time. You can tell that I like these psychedelic patterns for sure. But this color looks great on me. This is super comfortable. It's flattering. I can eat a nice big dinner and still feel comfortable in this. And my dog can jump on me without scratching it up. So I really appreciate this dress. This is a vintage Fredericks of Hollywood cami and I love the lace insert at the bust and the color looks fab on me. Plus it goes with my iridescent maxi skirt. So she's a keeper. To be honest, I never wear this, but it's another piece that I just really like having in my collection. Like just looking at it makes me happy. And again, maybe that's toxic. Maybe I need to go to therapy for that, but whatever, I'm keeping it. This is like a backless patchwork top that ties in the back and it's got like faux fur here. I like to wear this top when I want to look like I'm really cool when I'm traveling. This is a great everyday top. I got this from Michelle over at Fond Vintage. 
So thanks, Michelle. I love this top. <laughs> this is a vintage BB tank top and it's a little bit tight on me, so I never wear it. But this pattern is like just so unique and it reminds me of like video games I used to play when I was a little girl and that's like why I bought it. I don't wear it. I wore it like once. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of it. I wore this top out when I went to Austin and I looked really cute. I wore it with like a denim maxi skirt, but it doesn't really match most of the things in my wardrobe, even though I'm very obsessed with it. It's also not a color that I wear very much. I think I should sell it, but my inclination is to keep it, but I'm gonna sell it. This top is very much like the other backless top and it's kind of the reason why I bought that one because I like this top so much. I don't reach for it very often these days, so I think I am going to give this one an expiration date and if I don't wear it after a month, then I should get rid of it. This is my favorite tank top for every day. This color is great, the silhouette is awesome, it's comfortable, the fabric is nice. It's my fave. The brand is actually Charlotte Russe, but like from the 90s, isn't that cool? Girl, you would not believe the difference in quality. <laughs> but this is the next one. This top is very like groovy and fabulous, but I'm not really wearing like pink and black like this lately. I wore this color combo to death like a couple years ago, but yeah, I guess this isn't really my vibe anymore. Yeah, get rid. This was a Depop purchase. It is a vintage Victoria's Secret number, but this fabric just like snags so easily that it makes me nervous to wear it because whether it's my dog or like a tree that I'm walking by, I just feel like I'm gonna ruin it. And that makes me sad, so I don't wear it. So goodbye to her. I actually don't like this shade of pink on me. Now you may be wondering, Hannah, what's wrong with you? That's the same shade of pink you're wearing. It isn't. It isn't. In this one, no good. I don't reach for this skirt anymore either. I just feel like it's not really my vibe anymore, even though I do still love it in a way. You know, she is fabulous. This is another maxi skirt. And I wore this very often a couple years ago, but I really don't wear it ever anymore. And I think that has to do with the fact that I'm not really wearing pink and black and it's like pink with a black mesh overlay. So I'm going to sell her. My cousin convinced me to buy this top because the color looks really striking on me, but I never wear it. So definitely gotta sell her. I wear this striped baby tee crop top all the time so def a keep this is a french connection graphic tank top and i am very obsessed with this graphic i think it's super cool and i've worn this top a lot because it makes me look artsy like i said i want to look artsy but it's also like comfy casual so she's a vibe this might be the most worn top of all the ones i've showed it's got this like awesome digital butterfly graphic with like some slight sparkle to it. Yeah, I love this top. I'm never getting rid of this. This is another top that's like kind of a collector's piece. So I'm definitely keeping it. It has the year 2000, like the millennium on it. I got this on Depop because I was like, I can't resist that print. Like so great. And I actually wore this at the Kava bar that I like to go to downtown because they were having like an eras themed day. So I wore like a full denim, like denim jacket, denim jeans, the ones I showed earlier actually, and this top. And I was giving Brittany and Justin 100%. This is actually the jacket I wore with it. This jacket is my fave thing ever. I did buy it to sell it, but I just started wearing it and then I couldn't stop wearing it because I fell in love with it, so for sure, keep. And this is the last thing I'm looking at today. This is a happy bunny baby tee and it says, give me your number like I would ever call you. And yeah, this is another one that's like a forever keep, like collectible, I love it, yeah. I also have clothes that I just wear lounging around the house, but I'm not really gonna go through those guys with you because that stuff is boring. So I just showed you the cool vintage stuff and we cleared out quite a few pieces. So I'm happy with the result. 
there are like 15 pieces from my personal wardrobe that I'm now going to be selling on my shop. So if you are interested in buying any of those pieces that I said I was getting rid of, they will be listed to my Depop and you can also find me at holythrift.com. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fashion content, thrifty girl fashion content to be specific. Leave a like, drop a comment, let's chat. Don't be shy. <laughs> and I hope to see you next time. Bye.